He's got an entire half of the field to himself and doesn't go down. Keeps running. Touchdown, Sam Ellinger. From breaking pro-level records in high school to being rated a four-star recruit during his college career, Sam Ellinger is a force to be reckoned with. Despite being struck by personal hardship, Ellinger persevered and is currently one of the rising stars of the NFL. In today's video, we'll be talking all about this young player's story, so let's get started. Sam Ellinger was born on September 30, 1998 in Austin, Texas. It goes without saying, but you're probably going to be a Texas Longhorns fan if you were born and raised in Austin. And this quickly became the situation with Ellinger. Ellinger grew to love the Longhorns as a young child. He often flashed the hook'em sign and daydreamed about being a quarterback for the Longhorns. His father, Ross Ellinger, passed away from a heart attack in March 2013 when Ellinger was in the 8th grade. After this devastating incident, Ellinger set out to fulfill his lifelong goal of becoming a quarterback for Texas and to make his dad proud. Drew Brees and Nick Foles both attended Westlake High School, where Ellinger enrolled with the goal of taking over as the starting quarterback. And soon enough, Todd Dodge, the head coach, noticed the kid's talents right away. As a sophomore, Ellinger took over as Westlake's starter and never looked back. The 2014's district newcomer was credited with 2,543 passing yards, 876 running yards, and 42 total touchdowns. This served as a lead-up to being one of the greatest high school seasons of all time. Even as a junior, Ellinger dominated the competition. He led Westlake to the 2015 state championship game and was voted the 6A Offensive Player of the Year. Ellinger finished his career at Westlake with 125 total touchdowns and as the all-time leader in passing yards and overall yards despite missing most of his senior year due to injuries. Ellinger's outstanding performance in winning ways cemented his status as one of the best dual-threat quarterbacks in the nation. College Career Unsurprisingly, many colleges were interested in Ellinger since he was a four-star recruit and the fourth-ranked dual-threat quarterback in the 2017 class. Houston and SMU made the first offers, but after that, he received the one he had been hoping for his entire life. Ellinger accepted a scholarship from the Texas Longhorns and signed with them right away. What a full circle moment. Now a part of his dream had been accomplished, but Ellinger was aiming for greatness. This was evident as soon as he set foot on campus and was ready to make his mark. Despite just starting six games as the Longhorns starting quarterback during his freshman year, Ellinger led the team in passing and rushing yards. He became only the second Texas quarterback to record 40 or more total touchdowns in a season with 3,292 passing yards, 482 running yards, and 41 total touchdowns as a sophomore. Ellinger's junior season was more of the same with 3,663 passing yards, 663 rushing yards, and 39 total touchdowns showing off more of his deadly skills. Ellinger ended his Texas career as one of the best to ever play center for the Longhorns after a strong senior year. Right behind his childhood hero, Colt McCoy, he is second in Longhorns history in passing, 11,436 yards, 94 passing touchdowns, and a total of 127 touchdowns. He also exited with the fourth most victories as a starting quarterback with 27 and is one of just seven players in Texas football history to serve as team captain for two years. Ellinger not only fulfilled his childhood dream of starting for the Texas Longhorns, but he also earned a reputation as one of the finest both on and off the field. Before we tell you about his professional career, please smash those like and subscribe buttons as it really helps us out. And hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future uploads. Professional Career At first, Ellinger was not expected to be a top selection pick despite the outstanding career he had at Texas. He was projected to go in the 6th or 7th round by the majority of draft experts, with some even predicting he would go undrafted. However, that concern soon disappeared when the Indianapolis Colts took him in the 6th round. According to Ellinger, when he received that call, it was easily the happiest day of his entire life, and he celebrated with the people he loved the most. But sadly, yet another personal tragedy was about to strike. Just five days after Ellinger was selected by the Colts, on May 6, 2021, his brother Jake was discovered dead in Austin, Texas. At the time, Jake was a sophomore Longhorns linebacker and was only 20 years old. This was another blow for a family who had only recently experienced the tragic death of their father. Both his father and brother were huge supporters for him, and now Ellinger had two angels on his shoulders guiding him as he started his NFL career. Ellinger was observed closely by the Colts at the Senior Bowl in 2021. General Manager Chris Ballard was persuaded to take a chance on the young quarterback after their discussions with him and viewing his footage. The Colts hunt for athletes with qualities like exceptional character and winning experience. 
Ballard and the Colts also look for traits like leadership potential and competitiveness. And of course, Ellinger possesses all of these. Judging by his on-field performance, Ellinger is very difficult in the pocket and has a long arm that can zip the ball anywhere on the field given enough time. On top of that, he is really able to step into his passes. When the play falls apart, he can still be a threat as a runner and make things happen. Anyway, Ellinger signed a four-year rookie contract with the Colts during May 2021. He faced up against Jacob Eason in the backup role during his rookie season. Here, he led the Colts to a 21-18 comeback victory over the Carolina Panthers in his first preseason game. Unfortunately, after suffering an ACL sprain, he was put on injured reserve on September 2, 2021. But now, he's back and better than before, and things are definitely looking up. The former Texas Longhorn made a strong case for being included on the 53-man roster for the Colts during the 2022 round of the NFL and finally made it. Ellinger ran six times for 71 yards and managed to pass a rating of 147.8 during the preseason. So the reason is pretty simple, Ellinger truly earned his position on the 53-man roster. According to Coach Ballard, not only does Ellinger play well, but he takes feedback well too and really gives attention to the areas he could improve on. One of the biggest recommendations Ballard made was that Ellinger work on his arm strength. Clearly, the kid did what he was told. Many have raised eyebrows about him being selected for the big leagues. However, the Colts have worked hard to develop Ellinger since selecting him out of Texas in the sixth round a year ago. On top of that, there's bound to be the fear of such a talented player being snatched off by one of the other teams, so he definitely seems to be a keeper for now. And with that, today's video comes to a close. Do you think the Colts made a wise decision by putting Sam Ellinger on the roster? Or does he still need more time before he gets into the big league? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.